The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. Jesus was made for a song. today's story. Aha! I will tell you a story today only if Tubby answers my question at the end. He never listens to my stories carefully. All right, I will. So, today's story is about how Mary was blessed with Jesus. Once upon a time, Judea of the Roman Empire was being ruled by King Herod. It was this king who had rebuilt the ancient Jewish temple. A priest and his wife, who lived there, looked after the temple. One fine day, an angel named Gabriel came to the priest while he was worshipping. The priest was really scared. Gabriel blessed the priest and his wife with a baby boy, who would be called John. The birth of their boy would be rejoiced by many. The priest was worried about God's gift as both he and his wife were old. Gabriel assured him that God had sent him this good news but on one condition. He should not speak about it until his wife gave birth to the child. Nazareth was a small town in Galilee, which was on the northern side of Judea. After blessing the priest and his wife, God sent Gabriel to a girl called Mary. Mary was a young girl who lived in Nazareth and was about to get married to a carpenter called Joseph. He went to Mary and greeted her and said, Since you are God's favorite woman, he wants to bless you. Mary was surprised. Gabriel then said, After you get married to Joseph, you will be blessed with a son. Name him Jesus, and he will be called the Son of God. <laughs> now, Tubby, you will answer my question. What did Gabriel tell Mary? I know the answer. He told her that Joseph and Mary will be blessed with a son called Jesus, who will be known as the Son of God. Excellent, Tubby. It seems you have been listening to today's story very carefully. It's story time. Can you please tell us a story? Yes, yes, I will. But I will ask a question at the end of the story. And if you answer correctly, I will sing along with you. That's great, Holy. We will answer correctly, we promise. All right then, children, gather around. The story I'm about to tell you today is how Mary is chosen by God. A long time ago, God sent Gabriel to Nazareth, a small town in Galilee. There he came before a young woman called Mary. Mary was soon to be the wife of Joseph, a carpenter, who was related to the family of King David. Gabriel said, Be happy, Mary, because God is with you. You are the most blessed of all women. Mary was not able to understand the meaning of this strange message. She asked, What are you saying and why have you come to me? Gabriel said, Do not be scared, Mary. God really loves you. You will have a son, Mary, and you must call him Jesus. He will be a great soul, the Son of God. 
He will rule forever over the people of God. Mary thought, how can this be possible? I am still a young girl and not even married. How can I have a child? The angel said, The Holy Spirit will come to you, and God's power will cover you. The Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Your Aunt Elizabeth will also have a son, even though she is old now. Anything can happen if you really believe in God. Mary got down before the angel's knees and put her head down. She said, I am God's loyal servant and I will do whatever he asks me to do. When Mary looked up, the angel was already gone. Did you enjoy the story? Oh yes, we did, Holy. That's great. So here is my question. Who was Mary going to get married to? Yes, I know this, Holy. Mary was going to get married to Joseph. Yes, that is right. Someone paid a lot of attention. Very good. Now, children, I will enjoy my cup of hot tea. Bye-bye. Settle down, children. Today I will tell you the most wonderful story of them all. The birth of Jesus Christ. There was once a young man named Joseph who lived in the town of Nazareth. He was a carpenter and was soon to marry a woman named Mary. One night, when he was sleeping, he had a very strange dream. An angel came to him and said, Take Mary as your wife. The child in her is from the Holy Spirit. When the child is born, name him Jesus, and he will save his people from their sins. In those days, Emperor Augustus Caesar commanded that his people be counted. To do this, everyone went to their hometown. For Mary and Joseph, this was Bethlehem. The journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem was long. Mary was almost ready to have her baby at this time. They went down the hills in Galilee and up to the Judean hills to Bethlehem. Bethlehem was full of people who had come to be counted. The town had an inn, but it was full. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. That night, the shepherds who were guarding their sheep in Bethlehem suddenly saw that they were surrounded with light and an angel was standing in front of them. Seeing the angel, the shepherds were scared. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I have come to give you the good news. Christ the Lord has been born in Bethlehem. Suddenly, the sky was filled with angels praising God. On hearing this, the shepherds went to Bethlehem and found Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. Oh, that's a wonderful story. Yes. So where was baby Jesus born? In a stable in Bethlehem. Yes. That's all for today, children. Hello, children. Today's story is about the wise men and their precious gifts for baby Jesus. In the east, far, far away from Bethlehem, lived three wise men who studied the stars. They traveled to Jerusalem to find the child who would become the king of the Jews. They had seen his star rise in the sky and wanted to honor him. When King Herod heard this, he was afraid that he would lose his kingdom. So he told the wise men, Tell me, when you find this child, so that I can honor him too. The wise men followed the star they had seen rising. It stopped over a house in Bethlehem. The travelers who had come from far, far away were overcome with joy. They entered the house and saw the little child with Mary. Knowing that Jesus was the Son of God, they all knelt down in front of him. These wise men came with a lot of valuable gifts for their Lord. 
They opened the treasure chest and offered Jesus many gifts. They gifted him precious gold, frankincense and myrrh. When the men left the house that night, they did not go back to King Herod. They were warned in a dream not to do this. So all these wise men traveled back to their land by another road. One night, yet again, Joseph saw an angel in his dream. The angel warned him. Hurry away to Egypt and save the child. Herod wants to kill the child and the Lord needs to be saved. That very night, Mary and Joseph, along with Jesus, left for Egypt. When King Herod died, an angel came to Joseph's dream and said, It is now safe to go back to Bethlehem with Jesus. So, who wants to answer today's question? Me, me, me! Okay, so what were the gifts from the three wise men? Gold, a friend, and mud. Ah, this was a difficult one to remember. It's gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Right, right. That's what I said. Off you go now. I need my rest. <laughs> Hello, kids. I was just having such a funny dream about the three of you. Awesome. Was I like Superman? That's my favorite dream. Oh, no, Tubby. You were studying. Freckles was eating and Gumbo was staring at a mirror. Hey, that's so unlike us. <laughs> <laughs> now, Holy, will you tell us a story from the Bible, please? Yes, I will. But you have to pay attention. Of course we will. All right. This story is about the marriage feast. Once there was a marriage feast at Cana where Jesus and Mary were invited. It was a happy feast, but unfortunately, soon they were short of wine. Now, if the wine got over before the feast ended, there would be nothing for the guests to drink and the bridegroom and his family would be shamed. Mary saw that and was worried. She told Jesus to help. Jesus said, The time hasn't come for me to do God's work. Mary still said, I'm sure you can do something. Jesus saw six large jugs of water, which could hold 30 gallons of water lined by the side of the wall. In those days, the guests had to wash themselves before a meal, and that is why the six jugs of water were kept. Jesus told the waiter to fill the jugs till the top. After the waiter had done so, he told him to take the water and give it to the wine waiter to taste. The waiter did as he was told. The wine waiter tasted the water which had now turned into wine. He said, This wine is very good. The bridegroom must have saved this for the last. Hence, this miracle saved the poor bridegroom from being shamed. Everyone left the feast happy. Wow, what a nice story. I'm sure there must have been a lot of nice food at the feast. <laughs> Tubby, I'm sure there was. Now I will ask a question. What did Jesus turn the water in the jugs into? Yes, I can answer this. He turned it into wine. Very well done, Gumbo. Tales. To watch more videos, please subscribe. While the inside of the tomb was flashing like lightning, the guards of the tomb were afraid and very scared. They fell down with fear. The angel knew that the women had come to see Jesus, so he said, You will not find him in the tomb. Jesus has left death behind.
fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. King Solomon sent for his guard and said, Here, take this baby and cut him in half. I'll give one half to each woman. The first woman, who was indeed the real mother, threw herself at Solomon's feet. She cried, Please do not kill the baby. Give him to the other woman, but please do not harm him.